In basketball, different times have different great players. Right now in the 2020s, guys like Luka Doncic and Giannis Antetokounmpo are the big names. But some people are saying we're done with the 90s, meaning they think the old players from the 1990s aren't as good anymore. This idea is blowing up on social media, so let's compare two basketball legends from different eras. Larry Bird from the 80s and 90s and Luka Doncic from today. It's not easy because both players are incredible in their own ways. We'll look at their stats like points, rebounds, and assists, but also think about how they played and the impact they had on the game. People argue about this a lot. Some say Bird was the best because of his amazing shooting and smart plays. Others think Doncic is the new king because of his fancy moves and vision on the court. So what do you think? Larry Bird or Luka Doncic? Join the conversation and let us know who you think is the basketball superstar. Welcome back to Royal Sports. In the previous video, you watched that Michael Jordan is the GOAT in NBA history. If you did not watch it, the link is in the description and you can watch it. So without wasting time, let's start it. But first, here at Royal Sports Family, we wanted to remind you that we will be giving away a prize once we hit 20k subscribers, a $50 gift card to the NBA store, and when we hit 25k subscribers, a $100 gift card. So make sure you're subscribed, liked our videos, and commented it to enter. Now let's jump into today's list. As I was scrolling through Twitter, like any basketball fan, I stumbled upon a clip that caught my eye. It highlighted a fake by Luka Doncic that bore a striking resemblance to one famously executed by Larry Bird. It got me thinking about the similarities between the two players. Both Luka and Larry weren't known for their athleticism, but they had this knack for finding their spots on the court and hitting their shots, whether from mid-range or beyond the arc. However, when we dig a little deeper, a key difference emerges. Larry Bird possessed an exceptional defensive awareness. He had a knack for reading the game, anticipating moves, intercepting passes, and even drawing charges. Additionally, Bird was known for crashing the boards on offense, often snatching offensive rebounds with his tenacity and timing. This aspect of their game sets them apart. While both were masterful on offense, Bird's defensive prowess and rebounding prowess added another dimension to his play. It's these subtleties that truly distinguish the legends of the game. When we shift our focus to Luka Doncic, we notice some differences. He excels as a primary ball handler, demonstrating exceptional skill in orchestrating the offense and creating scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. Additionally, Doncic has a knack for sinking shots even under tight defensive pressure, making him a formidable threat in clutch situations. On the other hand, Larry Bird's playing style leaned more towards being an off-ball player, often initiating possessions from the wing areas. While he was undoubtedly a scorer, Bird's versatility allowed him to impact the game in various ways beyond just handling the ball, so contrary to what many might think, their playing styles aren't as similar as social media might suggest. Now let's delve into another aspect where comparisons are often drawn championships. As the saying goes, how many championships do you have this is often used to gauge a player's legacy and impact on the game. When we compare their championship records, Larry Bird comes out on top with three NBA championships, whereas Luka Doncic is yet to secure a title despite playing for fewer seasons. Bird also boasts two finals MVP awards, a testament to his impact on the biggest stage in basketball. In contrast, Doncic has yet to claim this prestigious accolade. However, it's essential to consider the broader context beyond just championships and individual awards. Playoff appearances offer another perspective. Bird made the playoffs 12 times throughout his career, showcasing his ability to lead his team to postseason success consistently. And on the other hand, Doncic has only made three playoff appearances so far. Looking ahead, there's a possibility for Doncic to close the gap, especially in terms of finals MVP awards, as he continues to develop and potentially leads his team to championship contention. But this will largely depend on the strength of the team around him as navigating through the tough competition in the Western Conference presents a significant challenge for Doncic and his aspirations for championship success. When we examine all NBA first-team selections, which essentially recognize the top five players in the league, Luka Doncic has earned four nods so far, while Larry Bird boasts an impressive nine. However, I believe Doncic has the potential to catch up and even surpass Bird in this regard. Given his young age and remarkable skill set, Doncic could feasibly earn another seven or eight all-NBA first-team selections. Moreover, Doncic's style of play, which isn't heavily reliant on athleticism, suggests he could have a lengthy career ahead. On the defensive side, Larry Bird holds the edge with three all-defensive team selections, whereas Luka Doncic has yet to make the cut. While Doncic's defense often receives criticism, he's still a solid defender. However, it's unlikely he'll match Bird's defensive accolades. One area where they share similarities is their Rookie of the Year awards. 
Larry Bird averaged 21 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists per game in his rookie season, while Luka Doncic posted averages of 21 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists per game. While Doncic had more assists, Bird's superior defensive contributions, including 1.7 steals per game, given the edge in this comparison. In summary, while Doncic may catch up to Bird in certain aspects, such as all NBA first team selections, Bird's defensive prowess and overall impact given the edge in their rookie seasons. The comparison between Larry Bird and Luka Doncic is indeed intriguing, especially considering Doncic's impressive stats even in the early stages of his career. Doncic's current season averages of 34 points, 9.8 assists, and 9 rebounds per game showcase his immense talent, and he's even a frontrunner for the MVP award. When we compare these stats to Bird's best season, where he averaged 28 points, 9.7 rebounds, and 7 assists, it's evident that Doncic is on a remarkable trajectory and he hasn't even hit his prime yet. Additionally, the rise of triple-doubles in the modern NBA is noteworthy. Doncic recently surpassed Bird in triple-doubles, achieving 60 in just 6 seasons compared to Bird's 59 in 13 seasons. This showcases Doncic's versatility and impact on multiple facets of the game. While Bird's legacy includes championships and finals MVPs, Doncic's potential for dominance in the future is undeniable. Ultimately, the comparison between the two players raises interesting debates about different eras and playing styles in basketball. The choice between Doncic and Bird depends on what attributes one values most in a player. Doncic's trajectory suggests he could surpass Bird in certain statistical categories, but Bird's championship pedigree remains a significant factor in the comparison. Let me know what you think about this debate. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, let's get to like 100 likes. See you boys.